Wait, we gotta see a dazzle mid lane, okay. We gotta see a torrent into arrow here, so. Both of those supports dropping dangerously low health. If you do get comboed up. Alchemist might not be so lucky. However, excellent positioning from those supports. Making sure Wind and Rain are not going to lose the safe lane just yet. And it's gonna be a tri lane versus tri lane setup. Alchemist getting stumped up. Keeper of the Light trying to save him. Nefrit, he is running for his life, but that's gonna be the first blood. Alchemist still hasn't got his items. You can just run him down all the time. You don't have to wait, you don't have to hesitate. Pop out smokes whenever they're ready. And then rain. They're not gonna let their alchemist get shut down this easily though. Continuing the lane aggression. Having alchemist regain his gold streak and... Ogre Magi, he's just dead. He's accepting it. Creating as much space as he can before he goes down. On the mid lane now with Mirana roaming into position. Perfect arrow on the Dazzle. Wish, nothing he can do about that. Druin goes back to the bottom lane. More arrows to be had. And that's a beautiful one on Nikra, who's gonna get torrented up. Kunka setting up a kill on the Keeper of the Light there. The arrow is there, Mirana gets stunned up though, and Mirana just is squishy. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Barely not jumping onto the high ground there, and mid lane. As Excalibur, who we haven't seen in quite a while, is gonna kill off Woogie on the top lane. Already starting to snowball here, is just gonna level up his orbs, and... You know... If he keeps the uh, if he keeps this up, he is gonna run all over the alchemist. Down goes Wish. Cure themselves a lot of gold. Meanwhile, the keeper of the light going down at the bottom lane. Speaking of being certain to win fights, they do rotate another one in at top, but in comes the counter rotation from the Kunka, who is more than happy to set up a fight here, trying to contest up those runes. In comes the shift, making both Kunkas as well as Excalibur on his OD. Quite a bit tankier, and down goes the Chaos Knight. And Boogie is gonna get caught once again. Excalibur just constantly chasing around the timber saw, just spamming out spells, whether it be to push or to make things happen. Look at that perfect position from the Mirana arrow off the mark just a tiny bit, but OD will get himself killed on the Keeper of the Light with you, so. Nefrit, getting ran at, getting stunned out of position, setting up the arrow, there it comes, perfectly on the mark, OD, he's not gonna take any chances, not even gonna let Alchemist get his ultimate off just straight up and dropping him down, down goes the Keeper of the Light as well, and Excalibur, setting up another kill onto Niqua, who is just gonna get taken off the map. And Alchemist is not, which makes things even worse. Dazzle had a very good fight set up there. One on one with the Naga Siren. Actually, a very good chance of winning that, but Frit, he has been spotted. Pretty deep in enemy territory. Can they be there with the catch? Looks like they will. Naga Siren getting off the net. Nefrit trying to turn around, gets body blocked up by Illusion and goes down once more to Excalibur. Not even a 15 minute, minute radiance. Okay, maybe if Team Wind and Rain are able to secure a lot of bounty runes, they're definitely gonna try. Committing the Keeper of the Light ultimate. In comes the ship. Excalibur keeping himself alive. Just gonna take a bit of time out. Is now going to get nuked down though by Nikwa. Excalibur finally going down. Immediately swings around nearly 1000 gold already. Keeper of the Light gets stunned up. Gets nuked down, but Shadowgrave will keep him alive. Instead, it's now DNZ Shka that will get taken off the map. And Keeper of the Light, still alive? Kunka comes in, finishes him off though. Making sure that Singularity, at least in terms of, 
of how many heroes are traded aren't losing these fights too heavily. But it's still an 800 gold swing in favor. Already be enough to warrant the fight, really. And Keeper of the Light is going to be able to teleport out of there. Niqua not quite so lucky. That's going to be the tier 2 tower on bottom lane going down as Singularity. They're just keeping up this aggression. Naga Siren. She's so far, she decided to go for a Manta style before the Diff Blade. Now saving up for the Diff Blade. Meanwhile, down comes the Keeper of the Light ultimate. The Missile still being kept alive. However, Excalibur just dropping his own ultimate to kill off Nikwa immediately. Now Boogie went on down as well. Wish just giving OD quite a bit of that delicious intelligence. Lost 20 to him. And is going to drop down. Keeper of the Light getting ran down as well. He's X marked, so pretty much signing his testament there. It's just too greedy with their approach to this game, it seems. And are now going to get punished for it. As Alchemist. Simply didn't have enough space to come Radiance online and I mean honestly wind and rain Radiance Radiance oh. OD getting a beautiful catch on the keeper of the light who's just gonna get decimated. Excalibur now. Wicked sick. Meanwhile, Mirana did go down on the mid lane. So a nice return kill. I guess they're gonna trade towers. Or not. As OD is getting committed in in order to defend this and keep things controlled up. Boogie, once to escape, gets X marked. This time around, he will be getting away. But not without losing a bit of intelligence to the OD, who's already currently doing across this map. They know how to use a gold advantage. And currently showing that off. Down comes the Willow Wisp. Countered immediately by a Naga ultimate. Big ship. Sunka. Caught in a bit of an awkward spot though. But he's just gonna try and teleport out. Not quite gonna succeed at that. Big and important kill swinging around. Singularity, I think they may still be able to fight this. OD comes on in, drops a huge ultimate, getting everybody low health, low mana. Down goes Nico once again on the Chaos Knight. Dazzle, just dead there, as Zytrax, he's got himself a different blade, capable of just running down those int heroes, Keeper of the Light, also got run down, but by, by Excalibur instead. He'll get stunned up, however, Nikwa, wait, I think he just bought back for that one as well. Yeah, he bought back, he's now getting gone on by Excalibur, the arrow is off the mark, and that means Excalibur might actually be in a bit, a bit, of, a bit of danger, and that was... Completely worth the buyback from Nikra there. I don't even think he himself had hoped to get that big Excalibur kill for 1000 gold. But for isolating and locking him down while the rest of her team are gonna initiate a big fight on the mid lane. Down comes the Willowist. Nikra, however, in a lot of danger as OD thinks about is going to completely be able to ignore that Willowist. Down goes the Keep of the Light next. And Nefrit. He's BKB to keep himself alive against Excalibur, but now BKB is on cooldown. Outlaw Devourer still looking to fight. Down goes the mid Mary Rex, while the tier 3 getting split pushed down as well by the Naga Siren there. I wonder how much they're going to get out of this engagement before Wind and Rain are going to decide to make the last stand. I mean, they probably want to wait 30 seconds for the Chaos Knight. However, Excalibur says nope, no waiting allowed. You're gonna fight right here, right now, when you can't possibly win the fight. And that is gonna mean Wish goes down. Singularity pressuring the Radiant base here in a 3v1 or a 3v5, that's gonna be a 4v5. So, they have a pretty big advantage right now, I don't think they're gonna lose it. 17k gold as well, Alchemist just couldn't come online. If it was a draw, I'm certain that Wind and Rain would have come out at least 
far more evenly out of the laning stage. As they are very good at bringing online the Drow, but with the Alchemist, you farm very differently. You rely on having a much more gold network. And everybody dropping low on the side of Wind and Rain, nobody quite dropping. Nefrit trying to fight it up for the first time in a long while, but even with the Shiva, he's just so squishy, getting you down almost immediately. In comes a big OD ultimate, and that's gonna make it GG as Excalibur just kills up three people in a row. That's that for our only best of three of the day. Holy crap, what a